Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Ender here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. And this time, we are getting it all in the first journey. This uh, was developed by Rafael Valim Fernandez, published by My Night Sun Games, and is available for just £4.59 slash $4.99. So this is a pretty, very, uh, quite a decent um, platformer, where we have to, we basically are a frog named Rafa, we gotta save our belovedness of Polly, old blue-haired Marge Simpson Polly right there. And we basically have to, you know, get to the next level without dying and avoiding a lot of stuff. We will see when we get there. Now, as for achievements, again, just like in Raphael's previous games, they are very easy. All we got to do is defeat three bosses and uh, complete, well, uh, technically 12 levels. So 12 levels which include three boss fights as well. But again, the bosses are quite easy, and it's generally not too bad. Now, again, just like with Raphael's previous games, probably expect a title update or two coming rather quickly. But this is roughly between 20 and 25 minutes of completion. So, well, with that being said then, let's do it. So we will start, as usual. Level one, there we go. So it's only the first 12 that we have to do. There are more levels. But for now, until the title update comes out, we only have to do one. So, move with the left stick, jump, and uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's pretty much it. So, the flies, if you remember, back to his first game, we had to collect a lot of coins. This one is quite similar, where we basically have to collect flies. There's no achievement tied to it just yet, but there will be. So, these bats, now as you can see, I've already been hit twice. Um, now, with the bats, you basically, you can't... It seems like you can't let any part of your body actually touch the enemy. You've actually got to just completely jump on their head or carry on. So this first level will be very easy. Just jump over a few things. Not so bad. Press next. Again, there's there's only a couple of uh, points in the game where it may be a little... Uh, yeah, you may have to redo a couple of times. Now, there are checkpoints in the game. This is Rafa's weapon. You just press the... You just press the X button. Now... So as you can see, I had a perfect opportunity to get the X button. So every time you get some of these uh, these new weapons, you will uh, always collect 10. Now, as we just carry on, watch out for the spikes, of course. And remember to jump over onto the birds. They'll help you over to the other side. This is where we get our first checkpoint. There are checkpoints in this game, which makes this a lot easier as well. Um, but you also do get timed. As you can see in the top right-hand corner, the time always clicks down clocks down from um, from two minutes so you kind of got to be quick but as long as you get to a checkpoint then obviously you don't have to redo the entire game so far so for now like I said obviously we'll just crack on with the platforming obviously now there, there are a couple of things that will kill you the first um, first time one will be fire a little bit later on in the game two will obviously be spikes and three will be the movie upy downy saws so you do need to be just a little bit careful. Like I said, it seems to be easier that you can get hit in this game. So onwards we go. Like I said, try and collect as many flies as you can, just in case if there's a title update. And it's probably going to be like collect, you know, 100 flies or whatever. So just be careful here then. There's a couple of the two enemies right there. Obviously, if you collect a watermelon, that is your health regained. Just be careful with the saw. Make sure it goes to the left before jumping up. Double A, uh, of course, if you press the A button twice there, you will jump twice. Be careful here. What you need to do is just jump straight down, double jump again, and then you should have just enough momentum to get over to the other side. And then that is all good. Now, what I actually tried doing with this playthrough was actually I was trying to save my weapons for the final boss. As it turns out, for the very final boss, you don't even need them. So don't panic if you don't have that many shuriokens. Um, you, you literally don't need it for the final boss at all, which is uh, it's still easy enough, but it's a bit of a pain since I think I ended up saving like 50 odd or something. Anyway, on to level four. This is the first boss fight then. So again, we can use our weapon here. So we can use the X button. So as soon as he drops down, jump, and he's going to start fl flinging some rocks down. So you just need to try and avoid them best you can and just keep slinging your shuriokens. 
and give them a little tap on the head as well for good measure. So that's what will happen with most of the bosses. They'll just go from left to right while trying to chuck stuff at you. Um, but again, with these first two bosses, you can just chuck your weapon at them. And they will die relatively quickly. The third one, you have to do a little bit of jumping skill, Magonies. Right, on to level 5 out of 12 then. We're going to jump on Snowman. Not not by him, so we, you know, get hit. God damn it. More weaponry right here. Now, one of the, probably the only sort of frustrating thing that I found in this game sometimes... I don't know if it was just me pressing the A button too quickly, but there was a few times where me trying to do some platforming and having to do it quick means that um, I couldn't... So basically, I try and double jump and you would only jump once. So just a little thing to sort of be aware of. Just take your time with your double jumps. Even with the uh, timer clicking down and everything, just take your time. So jump up to the top and here we are at the top right-hand corner on this little Ferris wheel type thingy. Jump over to the right and we get another checkpoint. Uh, kill off the bat here because they do follow you and they're a pain in the butt. This is where the fire is then. So basically what you got to do is we'll wait for the bat here or kill him off. And then you just need to jump over and then quickly. So it's not like one of those timed sort of puzzles as we avoid the spikes as best we can there. And then hit p little angry pig. Um, the ones with the fire, whatever you stand on, that is the one that will quickly pop up. So obviously whatever fire you're on, you need to just quickly jump off it. Uh, just... Uh, time this to easy perfection drop down and that's another job done another two bits of fires here so if you want to you can kill the pig or you can just wait either way you should be able to uh, kill these enemies dead obviously jumping up and this is a part I died on quite a few times so we're gonna have to be careful do your jumps jump over to the birds Jump straight down and you should be able to just make it there with enough momentum. But it's obviously, with it being difficult to see below you, sometimes I did die lovely. But you should be able to just jump over to the right-hand side, no problems. So, um, apparently the enemies don't feel fire on their own buttocks, which is just a shame, isn't it? So, obviously, just be careful here because, like I said, any time you hit fire, you're dire. So, uh, don't be a Danny Dyer and die by fire. Be more like a Danny Dyer and don't die by fire. Eh? Danny Dyer's got a daughter named Danny as well. It's all awfully confusing if you're not British. Um, a lot of British stuff is awfully confusing if you're not British. But there we go. Especially the language. So, jumping down, jump up here. Again, there's uh, quite a few flies I went to miss. But again, it doesn't matter if you've got these or not. I'm just grabbing them all in anticipation for a title update. Obviously, be careful with the saw there at the top. I uh, kind of got, kinda got away with that one there. And then hit the checkpoint. We'll drop down. Bit of time in here is needed, obviously not to die by the sword, uh, the saw, the real be the other uh, bat. Another saw coming up, so obviously just wait until it goes up to the top. And onwards we go. More platforming, kill the bat first, just to make it a lot easier for you. Zubat, you can bag her off, Tian. Right, now this part, again, it's just all about timing and then jumping up, so... Oof, kind of got away with that one there. So just wait, jump, wait, jump, and then you should be good to go. Jump up, kill the abobadabobadabobal snowman. Oh, we collect the watermelons as well, you know, just in case. Plus, you need that healthy heart stuff going on. So, kill the bat here. Take your time. Drop down on these three. Now, this is another part where I died quite a few times, but literally just take your time with it. It's only because I tried doing it too fast and it wouldn't work. So, just take your time. Double jump up. Make sure to give yourself, you know, like a, like half a second or something um, before you press the A button again to jump. Otherwise, we're all good. On to level 7. So now with this one, we're going to have to be quite quick with this one. So just jump straight across. If you get hit here by an enemy, don't worry about it. Just jump straight across. Go straight through. Because there's going to be a couple of bats and everything. So jump through and then we can actually have a little breather there. So again, that part took me quite a few times trying to figure out what to do. But it's best to just run. Run and gun. Run and bum the gun. Right, up we go. Again, wait for the saw here. There is a little... Uh, Little uh, hidden bunch of flies here. So again, that could be another achievement in future title updates. Who knows? But wait for the sword to go to the left. Jump down and then jump up. There we go. Nice and sleazy. Um, now you can try and collect all the flies here. Um, but as you can see, I literally just went straight down. It's all good. So again, this is another fire section. So just jump up, jump up, jump up. So you don't get your buns burned, huns. Don't want my buns that toasted, thank you. 
So they seem to be going a little bit quicker now, these uh, ninja stars. So just be careful, wait and jump, wait and jump. And then that should be good. Another checkpoint here. So you should be good. Bat of death. Let's kill the bat of death. And another bat of death. So hoya, scorio. Right, drop down. Little angry pig here. Now, this one may take a few tries, but you should be okay. Um, you can wait in the middle, and then you should have enough time there to just jump over. Again, I got hit, but it doesn't matter. Screw you, birds. Again, timing here is needed, so just wait in the middle until the next saw goes up or down. Drop down the abobabababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
as soon as you can there onto the next platform and then over to the right. Hit the abominable little angry pig snowman. Uh, bat. You can go bat yourself. And make sure to hit the checkpoint over on the right hand side before going down. Now, all that's down here then is some flies and some more weapons plus a cheeky little princess which, again, may be in a title update achievement later on so it's always worth it. I did try um, slapping her in the head. Sorry. Sorry, princess. Oh, and then I died anyway. Right. Okay. Sounds good. So, <laughs> so you can actually go ahead and recollect those flies if you want, but there's literally no point. We've got plenty enough for a minute. So jumping up. Ah. My, my head. My, my goddamn head. Once we jump down, this is the end of the level. And then we've just got another one left to do. Now, you, again, you probably won't die that much in the game, but it was just... The only times I really died were in terms of me not double jumping when I wanted to double jump. Yeah. So, uh, this bit is, again, not so bad. Just jump over and you should be able to make it through or just wait in the middle. Another path then, just jump over the next spiky ball, drop, drop down. Now, this path seems like it'll be tricky. It's not so bad though, so just drop down. Wait until the saw is either at the bottom, which I prefer... Watch out for the fiery bits though, jump over them if you can. Wait till the saw's on the bottom. Now, obviously just wait until you've got a bit of time there so you're not going to get shoyurikened in the bum. And then you get a nice checkpoint there if you made it through. Triple kill! Yep, that's why this is better than the new Call of Duty game, of course. Triple kill, easy. Right, couple of angry pigs, couple of angry bats as well. Um... Now, it's probably worth just killing at least one or two of the bats there, only because they still follow you, like I said, and they're a pain in the old button hatching, nose and hatching. Uh, make sure to do a jump, jump, there, double jump to the right, and platform it up. Now, this next part, ooh, ooh hey, almost got away with that one, dear. Uh, just got away with that one. So this next part, then, is very platform, <laughs> very platform based, and it is also very, can be very annoying. Um, so there is going to be a checkpoint soon, luckily. But we're going to kill these two enemies here. Again, like I said, it's going to be quicker and easier to just use your weapon. Because <clears throat> there's going to be another 10 here anyway, so I'm already up to... Oh, yeah. Nice. 69. Nice. Right, there's going to be a lot of red here. There is a yellow one you can stand on for just a second, though, while you wait for the uh, ninja star to go past. And then just continue your way up. And actually, incredibly, I just made that checkpoint with a second to spare. So that was lucky for me there. Um, so, yep, just carry on. Wait for the timing of the ninja stars and then continue your way up. And finally, that's the end of the level. Now, like I said then, with this boss, um, our weapon does not hurt him at all. He only does one um, one move throughout the entirety of the boss fight. He basically charges you, he jumps halfway, and he shoots stuff at you, which you just need to avoid. Um, so there's only really one way to kill this boss. So he's going to drop down. As you can see, nothing hurts him, but he does drop halfway. And he does this every single time. So he'll go halfway, and now you need to jump in his head. There was a lot of times that I missed his head, annoyingly. See? So, you know, just be a bit more careful with that one. Ah, oh, God damn it! But yes, he does it every single time. So he jumps, and then your only opportunity to hit him is when he drops down the first time. So there, that's the only opportunity that we're going to get to hit him. So he'll shoot, go halfway, drop, and then hit him on the head. Oh, yeah. And, but basically, that is the way that we kill him. If you can do it a lot quicker than me... I'll give you a billion pounds, which I don't have. So 
So yeah, probably could have done that boss a little bit quicker, but there we go. That will be all done. So as soon as we get through to level 13, that'll be the original 1000 out of 1000 complete. I will probably see you back here for some more title update goodness in just a little while, I assume. So there we go then. So thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I hope you enjoyed the guide and that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend as well. Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Thank you so, so much. I'll see you in the next one, homies and home messes. Big love.